One poster, too limiting. We're building a full campaign. Hi, I'm brand designer Izzy Poirier, and today we're creating a visual system for Design Festival, a fictional citywide design exhibition. The concept of Design Festival is museums, galleries, and public spaces coming together to offer a grand exhibition experience where the city itself becomes the exhibition. For a campaign like this, a single visual won't cut it. We need a full campaign posters, collateral, and digital assets that work together. The goal is to create a visual library that will allow us to create multiple designs while keeping everything cohesive. Let's get started. The best ideas don't come from sitting at a desk. They're out in the world. And to build a strong Firefly library, you need a photo library first. For this project, I decided to venture outside and pull inspiration from the city, such as a postal box, a tiled corner, or a brick wall. These can give us inspiration for composition, texture, and color. When I'm out exploring to work on my photo library, I not only look for details that are often dismissed, but I also try to keep an open mind to absorb everything around me. I find that this helps me with my prompts and composition. I call this creative fuel. Back at my desk with my photo references, I start to generate abstract backgrounds in Adobe Firefly. The goal here isn't to replicate what I captured, but to reinvent those elements into textures, colors, and composition that fit the tone of the festival. We are going for a maximalist look and feel. I use prompts to generate bold and high energy visuals. Something like heavy halftone effect on fluid mixed gradient backgrounds with multiple saturated colors, 3D abstract shape on top, blending into a flat background. It does not necessarily make sense, but we are going for something abstract. Firefly pulled from the references and created a mix of effects. A tiled wall became a pixelated gradient. A brick facade turned into a halftone texture and a postal box color expanded into a bold and abstract background. Once I'm happy with the visuals, I make sure to upscale them to sharpen details and ensure they are high quality for both print and digital use. The posters needed something to tie them together, a floating 3D metallic shape that would act as a signature element across the campaign. For this, I used a separate Firefly prompt. Isolated smooth metal, no texture, liquid bean with rounded edges, 3D silver metallic shape on a white background. Firefly generated variations of fluid metallic forms, and I selected one that felt sculptural and adaptable. This isn't for decoration, it is a unifying piece across all posters, appearing in different size and placements while keeping the campaign visually cohesive. Once again, I made sure I upscaled my metallic form to keep the details crisp and the resolution high. Once I had my 3D shapes, I brought them into Photoshop to clean them up and remove any unwanted backgrounds. Using the pen tool, I carefully trace around the 3D shape. This method takes a little bit more time, but allows for extra precision, ensuring the edges are crisp and clean. Once the selection was complete, I convert it into an editable area, then invert the selection to target the background and removing the background. This way makes the edges seamless, giving me a clean cutout and no rough edges and no unwanted artifacts. This extra step keeps everything looking polished before moving on to the next design phase. And this is how you can take your everyday surroundings and turn it into a library of visual for your event campaign. Be sure to check out the free downloadable files in the YouTube description and be sure to subscribe to the Adobe Live channel and stay tuned for more episodes. Thanks for watching.